The Regional Paralegal Support Network Conference brings together legal experts and paralegals from Eastern and the Horn of Africa. It is a forum that seeks to strengthen the capacities of formal and informal justice systems to effectively respond to the needs and interests of the poor and marginalized groups. Legal experts here say this can be achieved by strengthening the paralegal support systems to enable them empower vulnerable victims seeking legal redress. What a paralegal does for someone in prison who's been incarcerated in prison is to help them understand first of all their rights uh, as a prisoner, to understand the charges that have been brought against them and to work out possible defenses. Paralegals have been described as barefoot lawyers and are the first port of call on legal matters in many of our communities. It is therefore only fitting that paralegals are organized in a manner that improves their reach, their quality, and their law as part as that first port of call. Chief State Counsel Mary Wairagu says the provision of legal service through paralegals and the use of alternative dispute resolution mechanism needs to be enhanced to promote access to justice and reduce the backlog of cases at the courts. Because the issue is that you will not get justice if you are not represented. That is why you find chicken thieves have been jailed and we have not jailed uh, a serious and corruption person. National Legal Aid Service acknowledges that paralegals and lawyers play a complementary role and should not be seen as competing entities. You will not have advocates practicing in small towns. They tend to flock to the bigger towns, to the cities. So that's where your paralegals will come in and complement the role that an advocate would have played by help resolve these disputes through the alternative dispute resolution. The government seeks to standardize training modules to elevate the functions and capacities of paralegals. Kamche Menza, Channel One News.